Hey YouTube, thank you for joining me on my channel. My name is Michael Whitaker, and today we're gonna get into cinematic chord progressions. And what this is, is really cool ways to make your uh, chord progressions and voicings more interesting. So hit that like button and that subscribe button, and let's get into it right now. All right, let's get started on this lesson on how to make your music sound more cinematic. There's gonna be three examples and the way it's going to work is I'm going to show you the full orchestration. Then we're going to break it down on piano. And then we'll show that orchestration again. And if you're interested in film scoring and uh, this seems really fun to you, uh, there's more to learn at filmscoreseminar.com. Let's get into this now. All right, so the first example and our first exercise, we're gonna pick a triad. And then off that triad, you're gonna have the one, the three, and the five, which makes up a triad, right? So off of each one of those chord tones, uh, we are gonna pick either a major or a minor triad uh, based on that chord tone to be our next chord. So what that means, for example, if I have a C minor chord and I have C, E flat, and G, that gives me the opportunities with this technique for the next chord to either be a C major off the, off the one or uh, off the E flat in the triad. It could be an E flat minor or an E flat major or off the five, it could be a G minor or a G major. Of course, this can be expanded uh, a lot with other types of chords and uh, using melody and other harmony, but this is a basic way to get outside of the key and you'll get some really cool results with this. All right, so let me show you this really quick. We'll break this down on just a piano and then we'll show it fully flushed out uh, with a uh, orchestral mock-up of it, all right? All right, so here's the first technique done on the piano in close position, uh, just so you can see it really clearly. First chord is gonna be a C minor, C, E flat, G. Then we're going to use this E flat as our next chord, and I'm just gonna pick a random chord, uh, major or minor, uh, and we'll make it a minor. And then the next one, we have B, we have E flat, G flat, and B flat. So I'm gonna use the B flat and call it minor again. And we have, on that chord, we have B flat, D, D flat, and F. And we're gonna use the D flat and make it an a, a major. And now we have A flat, D flat, and uh, F, okay? And so we're gonna use, uh, the A flat and make it minor. And then we're gonna use the B of the A flat minor to make a major triad. And then I'm gonna wrap the whole thing up by just going down a half step and finishing it out. So in uh, slowly, it's uh, just on the piano, it sounds like this. C minor, E flat minor, B flat minor, D flat major, a flat minor, B major, and going down a half step to B flat to finish. So let's hear what that sounds like orchestrated out. All right, here's our idea. It's flushed out in full orchestration, and you can hear how we've got outside of just the regular key, and we're just using these uh, these key notes uh, inside the chord to make our next chord. And, and it really has a cinematic effect. Let's check it out.
All right, the next technique I wanna show you uh, will be a chromatic movement with triads. And the way to wrap your head around it is we're gonna pick any triad, major or minor, it could be augmented, could even be diminished. And we're gonna use a half step motion. The chords can be quite random and still give you a very cool effect, a cinematic effect. When I use this technique, a lot of times it gives the feeling that something is moving forward. We get a sense of emotional connection that something is uplifting or something is uh, something just happened. All right. Um, and we see this a lot. And let me show you on the piano. It'll make a lot more sense. OK, again, on the piano, let me show you some basic uh, half step movement. Let's start again with our C minor. And I'm just moving half steps around. And I'm not really being very picky about it. And uh, starting with an all white key minor triad, uh, we can use E flat to E, uh, E minor, and you can get this sort of effect, which you hear a lot, you heard a lot in Harry Potter. Let's use some examples with that using major and minor triads, uh, all flushed out with an orchestration and you'll get a real sense for the power of this technique, emotionally speaking. Okay, here's example number two, fully orchestrated. Remember, it's chromatic movement, not thinking of key or mode, but listen to emotionally what these lifts do, especially towards the end. It can be even used uh, in a funny variation. <laughs> Right, now for our final technique in this lesson we are going to use what we call superimposed triads we will pick a a root uh, in the bass and over that we will use uh, triads major minor uh, augmented and we will use uh, random triads over that pedal tone and this creates a really good good effect Sometimes it really works great uh, in action music, but it can also just kind of take you into another place. All of these techniques uh, I'm talking about can also be used for a second and then go back into traditional harmony, or, or it can be used as a transition or a modulation to a new key, right? A new key center. Uh, so let's flush this out on the piano and then we'll see a an example with a midi mock-up okay on the piano let's let's take our root just for ease we'll we'll make it a c okay and using this technique over this i'm going to use major triads in this first example now using uh ma using major triads over a pedal usually creates what we call extensions in a chord so we would have for example, D over C gives us a Lydian effect or a, you know, a uh, sharp four. Uh, but we're going to move this randomly. Uh, and you'll hear that used a lot, um, but it's, it's a nice way to transition. creates some tension and also in an action in an action cue 
you will hear this a lot of times where you'll have something to, uh, um, some sort of ostinato or, or brass going and you'll hear the trumpets go a lot of times they're minor triads or you'll hear a walk up that's uh yeah I, uh, very star wars okay so uh again it's super superimposed chords we could use minor triads augmented and then as you get more advanced you can you can use this and, and change the root around but you're still using the same technique All right, let's take a listen to the third example. This is a fully orchestrated version, uh, MIDI mock-up. And just remember, there's a C pedal, but superimposed are a bunch of triads that are moving around. The descending line in the end is also only triads. So all we're thinking is moving triads around over a pedal note. That's all this cue is. So let's try that and uh, check that out. <laughs> All right, hope this helps. And uh, if you're interested uh, in studying more and learning more about uh, film scoring, uh, you can take my full online course. Uh, the link will be below, uh, filmscoreseminar.com, where we teach you all about film scoring. And uh, even better than just uh, watching is you're going to be doing uh, actually 10 uh, really cool scenes that you're going to be scoring and learning all about this. So. Hope to help you on your journey and we'll see you on the next one.